This video contains excerpts from our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, jump to 9.1.2 or higher, configure jump server software. In this drawing, we'll describe how to configure the jump server software. Let's start with a quick overview and review. The jump server is a tool for providing a default gateway routing, DNS, SFTP, and NTP to the isolated builds and pre-production clusters. Web access to those clusters is also provided here. Here are the tasks for a jump to 9.1.2 virtualization and upgrade. On day two, a figurative day, we virtualize and upgrade our CUCM cluster. Here are the individual tasks. Configure Windows software routing, DNS, DHCP, and file sharing, and configure other software, NTP, SFTP, TFTP, syslog, and SSH. Enterprise 20 is using a Windows 2008 server. We'll build a build server for the builds cluster with VNix on the builds VLANs, and a pre-production server for the pre-production cluster with VNix on the pre-production VLANs. The Jump server software includes Windows DHCP, which is optional, Windows DNS, Windows Routing, SFTP and NTP, Wireshark, which is optional for troubleshooting, TFTP, SSH, and Syslog, which is also optional. We don't need DHCP, Wireshark, TFTP, SSH, or Syslog for now, but we like to have these handy in all lab servers in case something comes up. First, we need to configure the Jump Server Windows software, DHCP, DNS, and routing. We need to add the DNS, DHCP, and routing roles to the server. Launch Server Manager from the Start menu or by right-clicking on the server shortcut on the desktop. Select Roles in the Navigation pane and click Add Roles. Then, click Next. Check the boxes beside these roles, DHCP server, DNS server, network policy and access server to get routing, and then click next. DHCP and DNS should now be available in the start menu under administrative tools. We put shortcuts on the desktop. We still have to enable routing itself. Navigate to Administrative Tools, Routing, and Remote Access. Select the Custom Configuration Radio button and click Next. All we care about is LAN routing. Select that radio button and click Next. Routing should be working. Close the Routing and Remote Access window. We'll see if routing works when we install a subscriber. First, we need to configure the Jump Server window software, DHCP, DNS, and routing. Now we configure DNS. Double click on the shortcut. We need a reverse lookup zone, if we configure DNS on CUCM, to satisfy the CUCM installation requirements. We need reverse lookup properly configured for our CUCM installation to succeed if we configure the CUCM as a DNS client. Right click on Reverse Lookup Zones, and click New Zone. Add a second Reverse Lookup Zone for the Clab B network. Now we need to add the Forward Lookup Zone for Enterprise20.ca. Right-click on Forward Lookup Zones and click New Zone. Cisco recommends you don't put all of your publishers on the same server. For an HA solution with two servers, the Collab A VLAN supporting network 172.20.203.0 corresponds to one server, Enterprise 20 ESXiA, and the Collab B VLAN supporting network 172.20.204.0 corresponds to the other, Enterprise 20 ESXiB. 
If your cluster is distributed across two data centers, then Collab A corresponds to one and Collab B to the other. We've mostly aligned our naming convention for Cisco apps to reflect this. Here are all of the names and addresses for Enterprise 20 Cisco Collab apps. We are going to add everything to DNS now. You only need to add the entries corresponding to the Cisco collaboration you plan on installing in your enterprise. In DNS Manager, right-click on the Forward Lookup Zone you just created, Enterprise20.ca. Select New Host. Enter the name of your CUCM publisher, or pub, and the IP address. Make sure you check the box beside Create Associated Pointer Record. Click Add Host. Click OK. Add all of your Cisco Collaboration App hosts. At the end, all of your hosts should be configured for your zone, and the reverse lookup zones should also be configured. You will probably need to hit F5 to see these entries. DNS is configured. You can download the DNS files to speed up your configuration of your lab. Next, we need to configure the other jump server software, NTP, SFTP, and so on. We need to be able to transfer software easily into the Jump Lab. We could mount a shared drive, but we will share a folder instead. Right-click on this folder and select Properties. We're going to use the Builds cluster as an ongoing development cluster, and so we'll build a fully configured lab server. Enterprise 20 uses the following software for this. COP SSH for SFTP, Mineberg NTP and Monitor, Wireshark, TFTP D64 for TFTP and Syslog, PuTTY for SSH. The following pages show you where to download this software. Enterprise 20 uses COP SSH available here. This is an open SSH package that's easy to install and configure and supports larger file sizes. The Mineberg NTP server used by Enterprise 20 is available at this link. Enterprise 20 uses the Mineberg NTP server monitor, available at this link. Wireshark used by Enterprise 20 is available here. Enterprise 20 uses TFTP D64 for TFTP and Syslog, and it is available here. And finally, Enterprise 20 uses PuTTY for SSH, and it is available here. Upload the software to the jump server using the builds jump files shared folder. Connect to the build server. You should find the builds jump files share. Put the software you just downloaded into this folder. RDP to the build server and open the builds jump files folder. All the software you just downloaded is in this folder. Copy the putty.exe file to the desktop of the jump server. We now have a fully functional Collab App Lab server. We use these servers in all ABA labs with minor variations. The Jump to 9.1.2 playbooks provide complete and detailed instructions for configuring the Jump Lab, including the Jump Server software. Here are the tasks for a Jump to 9.1.2 virtualization and upgrade. The Jump Server is deployed and we're ready to build the target 9.1.2 cluster. Coming up next, Day 2, Jump to 9.1.2 or higher, build target 9.1.2 production cluster. Thanks for watching.